Now, there is a time in the book of Matthew chapter 16, the Lord came to his disciples in verse 21. And the Lord began to speak about his departure. He begins to prepare his children concerning what is about to take place, which is the grand final of his assignment on the earth. And Peter was not happy to hear those statements from the mouth of Jesus. When the Lord tells them that very soon the scribes and the priests and the elders of the church will arrest him and kill him. That was not good news. Probably you say this was not a man of faith because he's declaring things that are death. And Peter, who loved the Lord, I believe, and he did not tell the Lord this because he was showing himself he just didn't like the Lord saying he would be going to be killed by these people. Because Peter knew that the Lord had power to overturn the scribes, the chiefs, and the Pharisees. And he told the Lord, say no, none of this. Let not this thing be mentioned, Lord. For it will not happen. You know, you can, you can walk with your master to the point where you feel you can correct him. And this is how Peter felt, that what he was doing was wrong. But the Lord Jesus does not address Peter. When you look at that scripture, the answer of the Lord does not speak to Peter at all. Read it with me. Read it with me. He looks at Peter, but he does not address Peter. He addresses Satan. And he says, get behind me, Satan. You are an offense to me. For you are not mindful of the things of God, but the things of men. The Lord had a revelation and he tests the spirit behind every conversation. And we also ought to understand that every word spoken, there must be an intent and intention behind the word. And the Lord looks at Peter and says, it is not you speaking. It is an influence of Satan. There are words that can seem good, but they are from Satan. There are things that may seem they are okay, but they are not from God. And the Lord says this, Satan, you are an offense because you are mindful of the things of men. And I want you to underline mindful of the things of men. Satan is not mindful of the things of God. He is mindful of the things of men. And Satan has no other assignment. Because the assignment he did in heaven, he rallied a third of the angels on his side to rebel. Then after that, there was war that broke in heaven. And the devil was defeated, plus they are third of the angels, and they were all hurled. Not all of, of, of them, of course, some of them were left loose on earth, but some were held because they were very bad. If they are loosed, 
they will totally destroy humanity. They are bound in a booth in hell waiting for the final judgment. But the Bible says a third of the angels were thrown on down. They were defeated. And now when Satan came to on earth, the Bible says woe unto the inhabitants of the earth. For the accuser, that evil dragon, Satan, has been thrown on earth. And he is only mindful to deceive man. He is mindful to corrupt man. And one thing that the devil does is to put his center in the hearts of men that they will not be mindful of the things of God. Adu ufanya mwanadamu kukosa kufikiria na kuchukulia mambo ya Mungu kwa umuhimu mwanadamu anakuwa mindful of his business and himself he only works with what affects him and what surrounds him na hii ni jambo ambalo linafanya watu wengi sana hata kanisani wasiwe sana na wakati na Mungu Wasiwe sana kufikiria mambo ya Mungu. Wasiwe sana kuwaza na kujukumika katika kanisa na katika kazi ya Mungu. Wanawaza tu mambo yao. And today I'm talking about the devices of the enemy. And that is why the same Peter when the soldiers come to arrest Jesus from the garden of Gethsemane, he lifts the sword and cuts the soldier. Peter still understood that he must protect Jesus. He did not know that what was about to happen, the Lord was preparing them, was something that was internal and was even for his own good. Though it was not good for them, but it was good for him and for the generations to come. And the Lord told his disciples, permit it to be so, so that when I go, I may give birth to generations that now will complete the work of God and the will of God. You may be sorrowful that I'm going, but when I go, I will send you a helper. And you will realize that my going was necessary. And many disciples did not understand that. They were sorrowful. So even the death of Jesus, there were a lot of resistance where even the devil did not want him to die. But it had to happen because this was a divine transaction that was to save the lives of many generations that were coming ahead. And the Bible talks about this is the ultimate show of God's love to human beings. The same Peter, the Lord challenges and poses a question and says, my children, what do people say I am? And there are many answers that come. Now the Bible does not record which disciples say that you are Elijah the prophet. The Bible just records the answer. Another one says you are John the Baptist. Another one says you are just another prophet. Okay? You are Elijah. And then Peter just comes and says, you are the son, Jesus Christ, the son of the living God. And Jesus tells Peter, you hit it. You got it right. And the Lord tells Peter, but even though you spoke from your own understanding, 
But it is not revealed to you by men and your own thoughts. It is the Spirit of God that has revealed that truth to you. Now, that means the mind of man can be influenced by God and be influenced by darkness at the same time. And we ought to be understanding to understand who is influencing our thoughts and our minds. Because up there, it is the Spirit of God that had revealed to Peter. And even Jesus declares, upon you, I'll build my church. And the gates of hell shall not prevail against you. That is a very firm declaration. That means Satan and his kingdom shall not come against Peter. But down there, the same Peter, again he tells the Lord, Lord, what you are saying, don't say it. For it will not happen. And Jesus realizes that the devil has come in the, in the, in the, in the skin of who? Of the sheep. He is speaking good words, but he, he is, his intentions are different. He said, get behind me, Satan. Praise the Lord. Jesus rebukes Satan. The same man who had a revelation. That means, as the Spirit of God influenced the mind of Peter, Satan also came and he saw a thought in him which was not of God. Who will understand and discern that what Peter was saying, it was Satan, it was not Peter. How much revelation somebody can have, a man, the devil has an ability to sow an evil thought in your mind. And if you don't have the discernment, people of God, you can be able to think it is God when it's not. And that is why we need to be very careful about the devices of the enemy. People can be zealous for God, but they have a certain part of their lives that they have believed a lie. Or they are not just doing things right. And as long as the enemy finds a foothold, a place where he can twist the truth and make the truth to look like the right, make the lie make, look like truth, he can control us. You can have revelations, you can have visions, you can still pray, but still come back and believe a lie. And he will corrupt what is good in our lives. In the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 2 verse 11, I don't know if the message of today people are getting it. But I saw a few. 2 Corinthians chapter 2 verse 11. Let Satan, let Satan should take advantage of us for we are not ignorant of his devices. Let Satan Take advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. Satan has devices, gadgets, has ways. If you look and take a keen look at Christians, ukiangalia wa Christo sikuizi. When you look at the church, when we look at ourselves keenly and seriously, and we look at our lives and how we are doing, you can tell for sure we don't understand the enemy we are fighting with. And many Christians, we who come to church, anybody who knows how to fight will tell you, if you don't understand how the enemy fights, or your enemy is, you don't have information about your enemy, you cannot defeat him. How is it, Kumishinda? Lazima uwe na knowledge and understanding Juu ya adui wako. So wala ambao wana 
the skill of fighting, they will take time to study the enemy. They will even send secret emissaries to the camps of the enemy so that they can know how do these people live? How do they do things? How do they operate? And you remember when Moses wanted to cross over to the promised land, God had told them that land is given to you. But that was not a notice that just enter inside. Eh? Kuna watu ambao mungu wamekupa hadi. Lakina imanishi utaka tu na uingie kwa hadi yako. Lazima uwe na strategies za kuingia kwa hiyo hadi ambayo buwana amekuwa hidi. Kama utaka tu kifikiria itatendeka, si mungu ameongea. My friend, utakufa kama haijatendeka. Ni vizuru ujifunze vile mambo ya mungu tendeka duniani. Na neno la mungu limetupa hekima ya kujua. Musa ameambiwa kwamba that is Joshua. You must go and take over the land. But he has to send some people to go cross over there. They went to take notice of the land. Wajue watu wapale wanakana mnagani. Tukingia pale tutaweza kuweza kuwashinda namna gani kwa maana Mungu amesema kule kuna watu hatuendi kwa nje ambayo haina mtu na wewe ambao unataka baraka hizo baraka ziko kwa mikono ya mtu hakuna baraka ambayo imehang kwa mti ambapo utaambiwa na roho mtakatifu nenda upande tu mti na uchukue na hata kupanda mti inahitaji skill unaweza anguka kabla hujafikia The enemy is not all knowing. Shetani hajui kila kitu. Wengi wetu shetani ujua mipango yenu kwa sababu ya vinywa vyenu. Kila mahali hata hujapata kazi, umeenda tu interview. Eh bwana nimeenda interview. Nimeenda KRA. Ile interview kila swali niligonga tu, niligonga tu. Na ngoja tu barua. My friend, utasikia watu waliingia na huku ingia. Penye umeongea Monitoring spirits zimesikia. Ukweli ama si kweli? Utakapopiga simu unasema kuliendaje? Anasema ah wewe huku faulu. Na si nilijibu maswali vizuri kila ulikuwa umefanya research yako poa sana. You realize that on this earth the battle is not for the strong. The race is not for the swift but those who have the grace. But even if you have the grace of God, you must understand how to live in the territories of the enemy. So when the, the, the people who were sent by Moses came back, they had different stories. They spoke about how the land is. And that gave them, they gave the children of Israel an upper hand to understand when they enter that land, how will they go about it. Even us, the blessings you have, the blessings you desire, somebody has them. You know that boyfriend whom, who will become your husband, right now is a boyfriend of another woman who is not supposed to be with him. So when you pray, the Lord will destroy that relationship for that man to be totally sorrowful and desperate. And in so doing, God will connect the man to you. And sometimes you can pray unaombea relationship umekutana na kijana then the next thing the relationship breaks huyo jamaa sio wako unataka mtu basi huyu sio wako na muondoa wacha nikupatie wako god is deprogramming you he knows the place now he must place you because where you are Located at this moment, he cannot do the blessings for you. You must believe him anyway. But when you look at the life of many Christians today, honestly, many of us, no wonder Adui Ananafasikubwa Sana, he has a foothold on the majority of believers. We attend church, we listen to sermons, we are prayed for, we pray, 
But there are things we must understand on how the devil operates. If you think that fasting will bring an anointing to overcome Satan, you go and fast 40, he will come. That makes you to learn something. That it is not the fasting that will overcome him. It is you soaking yourself in the presence that will change yourself in the Lord that will make the enemy not to have any influence on you. Have you got the point? So we must have a grasp of the understanding of how the enemy works. The level of now you receiving from the Lord is high. The atmosphere for you to uh, overcome him is bigger. He has no power over you. And the enemy will not come to challenge you if you have not challenged him. When he comes to challenge you, just know that you have done something that has challenged him already. But he will still come to see, can he be able to find a foothold on you so that he can now again lower you down. We know that he's a master of evil. And no man wants to be associated with him, isn't it? As long as you possess what is of the devil and you are using the things of the devil, you are under his authority. So many people, even they don't like the devil, they cast him out, but he is staying with them. And the reason why I'm saying Kwamba, many people are under his foot for, foothold, when you read the Bible in the book of Matthew 7, 13, the Bible says that the narrow gate, a few are there, but the broad way, many are there. The devil is on the broad way, and the Bible says many are there. And even some of them don't understand. Kuna wa Kristo kanisani ufikiria wako sawa kabisa. Wawa hawana usiano na shetani. Lakini wanaishi na shetani wanalala na e katika nyumba. Ni wengi ambao wanaenda kupitia hiyo njia. Na hiyo njia, yule ambaye ni kiongozi wa hiyo njia, ni adui. Ni najua na mnagani. Katika kitabu ya Yohana 10.10, 10, the Bible say, the enemy comes not but to steal, to kill, and to destroy. And they say, I don't like him, I rebuke him. But they hold on things that are his. You cannot rebuke him and overcome him if you hold things that are his. He will say, before you take me out, you have power to cast me out. That one was given to you by your father in heaven. And when you cast me out, I'll go. But before you cast me out, give me my property. Which many of us are not willing to give out. Atutaki kupati na azo, sindio? He is a schemer. He is a deceiver. He has many patterns. And when you look at the world, he uses systems, traditions, family patterns, wrong beliefs and perceptions. He has managed to deceive many. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. You can become a very good intercessor in the church. And people who are zealous to pray. But the enemy can come and make you to be, think that now you can be used as a weapon to pray to kill others. You are a witch. You don't know that the devil has turned your intercessory to become a witch. Because now you have turned to pray to kill. So he has a way of influencing people. He offends us. Situations offend us. These are his schemes. These are his devices. Kama kuna mahali ambapo wa kristo wengi, wanaitaji kukombolewa ni kusame. Hata wanao nisikiza online. Kuna wengi sana. Nevertheless, whatever he has done, the Bible says forgive. Wana Yesu asifiwe. Kuna watu ambao kuachana na mila ni shida. Situko hapa. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Adui hatakuja kwako na pembe, atakuja kwa mila. Ah, ni baba ameniita tu na unajua kulikuwa na makumbusho, nilikuwa napenda mama yangu. Ah, wao walienda kufanya hizo vitu zao, mimi nilikuwa kwa nyumba, lakini umeenda. 
kama mtu amekufa kama alikuwa anaitwa baba yako mama yako mkishamzika story yake na wewe kwisha ati sasa unajua mwaka huu pasta ni wakutairi nataka ukuje uombee mtoto wangu ata, mbona utairi mwaka huo ni lazima eh bwana Yesu asifiwe ni adui ni gereza la ufungwa somebody say gereza la ufungwa traditions family things family patterns unajua kuna culture zingine they are the devil am manifest katika kali cha ambao unapata ati ukizaa watoto ambaye ni mapacha wawili wanafanya nini kama uko hapa na ulifanya hivyo Mungu akusamee sana the devices of the devil he uses governments and systems of the world eh? kuna sheria ambazo hata ziko katika constitutions za mataifa ambazo they are the schemes of the devil do you know that People come to church and they bind Satan. Hmm? Huh? Sindio? Satan I bind you in the name of Jesus. I loose you in the name of Jesus. I throw you away. I just <laughs> And that is what the Bible tells you we should do. Isn't it? You are not doing a mistake by doing that. We should bind him. We should cast him out. Isn't it? But right inside us we have his possessions you find a woman praying lord please deliver my husband mume wangu bwana mungu muokoe i cast the devil that is influencing my husband i destroy that demon and that satan lakini huyo mume akurudi kwa nyumba umeinua kichwa you cannot submit unasema wewe ni nani eh huwezi nifinya mimi eh eh kama ni kupigana tunapigana What does the Bible say? Submit, isn't it? You know Kanisani pastors we cast out demons from people. We say I bind you Satan and the demons leave people. But immediately when atoka Kanisani they run into the camps of the devil. Halafu tena Jumapili ngine wanarudi. Worship ikianza unasikia tu he he he. Yaani wakati mwingine kama wachungaji tunajidanganya tuko na anointing na nguvu. Kumbe ni kuchezewa tunachezewa wanga tu hapa. Tunaenda through cycles. Yaani tuna kasta anaenda adui anatuchezea anasema kwa vile moto iko hapa wacha tumngoje nje. <laughs> Tutamngoja pale kwa kona penye anaenda anga penye anapitianga hapo. Ukitoka church tu yani ni kama umechorewa pattern hapo ndio unapitia. Nasema sio huyu twende na yeye sasa. Yaani nasema ile kona yenye unajichafua tena. Si unaijua? Unaposonga pale wamekuchukua tena. Unarudi kanisani, pasta unafikiria hiyo siku ni anointing, si anointing. Ni adui kutuchezea tu. What is important as people of God, we must give the things that belongs to the devil back, isn't it? We heal the sick in the name of Jesus. Tunikuponya ile alsa. Lakini kusamee watu imekuwa shida, tena ilirudi. Hmm? Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Kuna watu tunatoa sacrifices makanisani kwa madhabahu ya Mungu lakini msali mwenye umechukua huyo unatumanga ingine huko tena kubwa kuliko ya hapa sacrifice kwa madhabahu ya Mungu ukosi kuleta unaleta tu unaleta ngombe unaleta mbuzi unaweka pesa wakati wa thanksgiving unashukuru Mungu vizuri lakini ule msali mwenye huwa anakupigia simu akisema ninaona ka kitu kabla kwa pilo yako penye umelala sai 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 hauna unaanza kupigia watoto niko na emergency niko na emergency sasa unachafua baraka ya madhabahu ya Mungu na madhabahu yale mengine the blessings of god are in his promises and they are prophetic in his word When a man of God comes he's confirming what God has already programmed for you. And if God has said yes, he will do it anyway whether a man says yes or no. Amen to Mungu hapa. Just believe God, believe Jesus Christ. Wacha kudanganywa. You just need faith in the Lord.
and believe God and God will do it for you. It is the devices of the enemy. He uses wrong thoughts. Nua Christo wengi sana. The devil uses our thoughts in many ways. Yani uko kanisani lakini mawazo, mawazo. Hmm? Hawamini kama mungu aneza kutendea. Alipo kuja kwa Eve, alitumia mawazo yake. Naka panda mbegu ya doubt. Ni vizuri uitambue kwa mba katika mawazo yako. Mungu aneza tumia mawazo yako. Kuleta mema. Na adui pia aneza tumia mawazo yako kukuangusha. I don't care what you are and what you are called. As long as you have wrong thoughts in you, it is a matter of time. Those thoughts will bring you down. That's why the Bible says in the book of 2 Corinthians 10, casting down every argument that are contrary to the mind of Christ. Lazima upigane na mawazo maovu. Ndiyo sababu Yesu aliposikia petero akisema, alijua huyu ni shetani. Kuna mawazo mengine lazima upigane nayo kwa sababu ni akishetani. Sindio? Si uko hapa lakini una, unawaza mambo ingini wasema, kwa nini mungu haku kubali tuwa wake wawili watatu? Sasa huyu mwenye niko naya na nisumbua kila siku na pasta anasema hawezi kukubali wake wawili. Si uko hapa unafikiria hivyo? Na huyu muka uko hapa unasema, kama mungu ange kubali, ni achana na hiki kimu wana ume, niende titafute wana ume, wana ume mwenye anafaa. Kime nisumbua sana. Kuna mtu hapa unasema, Pasta kuna ubaga na mpango wakando, sini inaeza mweka tu, bora tu nilishe mka wangu na watoto. Na ule pia, unajua, na saidianga ee, hata na watoto pia. Si ni mungu. Kuna ubaga ni si ule mtoto alikuwa mekwama. Ule mtoto wa mama shiro. Nilipo enda tukakuwa na mpango wakando na ee na pasi. Siku hizi mtoto amemaliza university. Kuna ubaya gani? Si ndio kusaidiana, tunasaidiana kwa maisha. Ubaya gani? Katika commitment yao wanapenda mungu tu. Wamejitolea na moyo. Lakini lazima pia tujue adui anapigana na sisi. Na anapigana na sisi kwa njia gani. Ili tuweze kujua anatumia silaha gani. Uneza kuwa nafanyia mungu kazi. Lakini kuna vitu fulani ndani mwako haviko sawa. Hata mchungaji uneza fanyia mungu kazi unakanisa lakini kuna mambo fulani. Haufanyi sawa. Na mungu atusaidie. Something is just wrong. And this is what the enemy can use slowly by slowly to destroy the good that God has begun in you. Wakati mungina adui hajali hata how small he has in you. As long as he has a small bit in you, he can still magnify it slowly by slowly until that small bit swallows the good of God inside you. Unanipata vizuri? The enemy can be so patient with you for many years. But as years go and you are not dealing with it, he will magnify it and make it grow and grow and grow until he will take the whole house and it will pull you down. He comes not but to steal, to kill, and to destroy. And nobody wants the devil. But if we don't want him, may God help us that we put away all his things. Put away those, that idol talk. Put away those, those words you like backbiting. Put away that unforgiveness. Put away that bitterness. Amen? Weka mbali. Wengine wetu ni mavazi maovu. Weka mbali. Hatuwezi kukaa hivo tu. Hatuwezi kuingia kanisani miaka nenda rudi. Tukiaribu wakatu wetu. Na kuna vitu havit, atutaki kuvitoa na kuviondoa. Kama unajua you have a rebellious spirit. Anza kuwako nit. Achana nayo. Humble. Kama unajua tabia zako. Eh, kuna wano umewengi ambao they, awajali familia zao. Wanafikiria yosio dhambi. Na hata weni mkristo. Ukipata pesa afadhali upeane enje. Lakini kwa nyumba yako muke ni tabu tu. Watoto ni tabu tu. Kila siku ni kusurvive, lakini pesa unapata. Kila wakati mke anaona unarudi na mashati mzuri, unarudi na manguo mzuri, anaona umehangsu, tunasema hii ni ya Sunday. Watu watajua mimi ni nani. 
Mama anasema na mimi yangu, ah wewe na wewe una nguo mingi. Ni mwaka mmoja hata hujanunulia mke wako nguo. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Mm. Wewe kila siku unakula samaki, oh kuna ka hoteli hapa Bungogo unapenda, eh ka joint. Ni kama kwani una time table kwamba saa saba ukue hapo kule hapo. Uwezi kula kwako. Leta kama kawaida. Kama unaendanga kwa hoteli ni unaitisha kama kawaida. Una shida wewe. Inamaanisha wanakujua. Wewe ni customer wa muda, wanaelewa tabia yako. Ukijia pale wanajua ugali fry. Kama kawaida. Mimi hakuna hoteli yenye wanajua kama kawaida. Kama kawaida ni kwako. Unakula nyama fry mpaka hamu inaisha nyumbani ukifika kule unasema mimi napenda tu kunde <laughs> na mke wiki mbili hajaonja nyama mbingu ya nani utaona you are worse than a christian and unbeliever wacha nikusaidie hata kama utatoroka kanisani so wacha nikusaidie kuna wanauma hapo kianza kugombana Four hours unaenda bathroom Ukirudi watu kwa hii nyumba <laughs> Ni seme ni seme Siku hizi ni kama maroza wa mama zimeingia wanaume Mtu anagombana na gombana anagombana Mpaka umelala kwa usingizi mm. Mm. Unatan Na nyinyi wa mama <laughs> this is a local church we must train you to have good character ulisikia hapa mtu akatoa ushuhuda akasema na mke wangu ni mzuri alinisaidia kusugua meno akanisaidia kuoga na kaa vizuri wewe mnafanya hivyo eh wa mama kwani anointing ya mdomo lazima ukue nayo hauwezi acha tu huwezi kunyamaza tu hauwezi kufanya vitu vizuri Wengine wenu hata ukipewa pesa unaenda unapiga ujanja yako unapiga ujanja yako unapiga ujanja yako unanua budget haitoshi Mzee alikwambia niko na 1500 nataka ilast mwezi umeenda umefanya budget ya 2500 2500 umepeleka kwa mganda After two weeks yani umefi, unaletanga chakula mbaya kwa meza sabuni hakuna unaleta ile ingine kwa sababu umefinja pesa akiulizwa anasema na wewe ni mzee wa aina gani kufuatilia fitilia vitu za mama wa mama na unajua kile ulifanya mtu kama hivi havipendezi Mungu na ni dhambi wengine wenu mpaka mmepitisha mpaka unamwita unamwambia kuja nikwambie anasema kuna nini kuja uone unaona ule hao ndio wazee hao ndio wa, wanaume angalia vile wanaume wanaingianga kwa boma angalia Mercedes angalia vile anatoka anatoka na paper bag unaona ametoka na nini Hetias Cross Road na wewe umeingia hapa na mikono mitupu tu mama hapa mmetocha wazee wenu mpaka hata hawezi kuja kanisani akisikia pastor Alex anasema huyo ni mchungaji mgani mchungaji mwenye ana train yenye kukaa hivyo kwa sababu ya tabia zako lazima tuachane na mambo kama these are the schemes of the enemy wakati mwingine mzana anakasirika wewe umeona amekasirika lakini unazidi unamwambia eh unataka kunifanyaje Re, leo jaribu uone jaribu eh ati kama unataka kuniua ni uwe na unashinda unaenda mpaka unamsongea unamwambia nipige 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 akinua mkono ushaanguka chini ni nduru unapiga sasa wazee mjue kwamba si kwa urumi ni sio nyinyi peke yenu nimemaliza kazi ya Mungu na nyinyi vijana mti wazazi wenu Mzazi akikwambia kitu yeye ameenda mbele yako. Unajua mzae haelewi mzae. Mwacheni kutuita wazae, mimi si mzae. Mzae mzae, mimi ni mzae. Let us rise on our feet. Somebody say the devices of the enemy. 
Have you learned something today? Yes. Have you learned how you operate in our lives? Yes. Are you better now? Yes. Are you better place?